So welcome back everyone, Mike here. This evening I want to go split some firewood. Uh, I've been wanting to do that all week. It just won't quit raining. During the month of September we got somewhere around 15 inches of rain. Uh, I had never remember September this wet so it's been really hard to get anything done. And it's actually supposed to rain again this evening so I'm going to split wood until either I'm done or it pours down rain. One of the two. What I'm going to be using is uh, I'm going to try out those IBC totes. If you don't know what I'm talking about I'll put that video up here. An IBC tote, I think they call them a intermediate bulk container. You've all seen them, I'm sure. It's like a wire cage on a pallet with a tank in it. You remove the tank, cut the front of it out like I show in that video, and it should work pretty well for uh, you know storing and transporting firewood if you have a tractor or skid steer or something like that with forks. So I just kind of want to see how it goes, how long it takes to fill it as well. Uh, they hold a little bit over a face cord. These ones are four feet high, and I'm going to kind of stack it in there. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. But before I do that, I want to show you something. Check this out. Battery powered chainsaw. This is a, a steel MSA 200C. I never would have considered using a battery powered chainsaw for anything until I used the steel HTA 85 pole saw. Uh, and I was very impressed with that. But this has the same 300 amp lithium ion battery and this is a pretty cool little unit here. Now don't get me wrong, this is not going to replace the MS-362, but we're going to try this out sometime this weekend, weather permitting. And what I want to do is a real good test on this to see exactly how much firewood you could cut on a single battery charge. So if the weather cooperates this weekend, I'll do that. So what I want now is for you to comment below of how much firewood you think you can cut with this thing on one charge of a battery. Now remember, a cord is 128 cubic feet. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll cut up a bunch of firewood until the battery runs dead on this. I'll split it all up and stack it and we'll get an accurate measurement. So I'm gonna take a stab at it and say one sixth of a cord, maybe a little bit more than that. So in other words, a face cord is one third of a cord. That would be pieces cut 16 inches long, a stack four feet high, eight feet long. Uh, so I'm going to say about half of that. Yeah, one sixth of a cord with this battery powered chainsaw. That's my guess. So in the comments below, enter your guess and sometime later in the weekend uh, you'll see the video on this and we'll put it through the paces, see how it does. Anyway, I got to get started splitting wood because it is going to rain. I just checked the radar. I just checked the radar and it is going to rain again. So I'm going to split wood until this basket is full or it starts pouring down rain. One or the other is going to happen. But anyway, it is now 20 minutes after 5. So what I'm going to do, I want to see how long it takes to fill this basket using this Black Diamond 25 ton splitter. I haven't used this a whole bunch. I might have split maybe six full cords so far, something like that with it. So far, so good. I love this table on it. it. Makes all the difference in the world. I don't care what kind of splitter you have. You should have one of these tables on the side. It just makes life so much easier. But anyway, I'm going to get started and see what we can get done.
works really well. I mean, you could almost use one other person, you know, stacking in the basket, but when it's right there beside you, it doesn't take long at all. That took exactly an hour and three minutes to do. Uh, so you could easily do it under an hour. I mean, I was moving cameras around a few times. I mean, probably 50 minutes or something like that. And there's definitely over a face cord in there, which is uh, one third of a cord. That's a nice mix of uh, red oak, about half red oak, then about 40% cherry and about 10% maple. If you wondered how I got that overhead shot, you know, while splitting, I'll fill you in a little secret. I got a really big tripod. See up there on the forks? Got one of those little uh, Sony FDRX 3000 action cameras up there. While I have the RK55 down here, let's see how it picks this thing up. So far I'm pretty happy with the uh, refurbished IBC totes using them for firewood like this. Now you know I've only tried this, this is the first time, I don't know how long they're going to last, but I think it's like anything else. If you don't do anything dumb and you're not banging them around and you're careful when you're moving them uh, with your forks, I think they should last a long time. And what's really nice about these things, you know, right from the log splitter into the tote, you can set it off to the side and wait till the wood dries and you won't have to touch it again until you're ready to use it. And you can also take those tanks that came in them, cut them in half in a diagonal, and set them on top, maybe zip tie it on, make a nice roof over top of it. But these should work pretty well for me. Uh, I'm not going to do all my firewood in these totes. I'd have a whole bunch of them. Uh, but I'd like to have maybe 15 or 20 of them. And then for the neighbors that buy firewood and things like that, or even if someone wants to come with their pickup truck, I can just come down and lift one right in their truck, strap it down, and they can be on their way, return the tote later, something like that or I can just carry them with the RK55 right over to the neighbors that are close by. So they should work really well for that. Uh, so far I'm impressed. And when I did that first video on these totes, I mentioned a guy up near uh, Grove City, PA that I got them from and I'm going to get a bunch more of them. His name is Adam and I'll put his uh, phone number in the description once again if anybody's interested. Adam's a really, really good guy. He's a go-getter and he works hard. He's got a nice place up there in Grove City and he has a good ongoing supply of these totes. So if you're interested in that, his phone number will be in the description. You know, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, North Pittsburgh, probably the whole way up to Erie, into Ohio a little bit, uh, you might be able to make something work with him. Also, don't forget in the comments below, give your best guess on how much firewood I will be able to cut on one charge of the battery and that steel battery powered chainsaw that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Uh, I'll do that video sometime this weekend. Um, pretty happy though. I beat the rain here this evening. Just a little bit coming it looks like on the radar. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I think even Monday, no rain. That's what they're saying. I'll believe it when I see it. But that'll be wonderful. I got a ton of stuff to do. And I'm pretty excited for some nice weather. Uh, what else? Woodstack 2018. Sometime next week I will uh, have another video on that with every rule, everything that's coming up close. So get your uh, pictures ready or get stacking if you haven't already started. And the Paul Bunyan show on October 6th, I think it's that Saturday, Melissa and I will be there. If anyone wants to meet up, we'll post updates on where we're gonna be on our Facebook page, Outdoors with the Morgans, and Instagram if you care to follow us there. Uh, but I'm kind of rambling on here right now, so I'm gonna wrap this video up, but I think we figured something out here. The IBC totes work pretty well for firewood, and uh, we'll see how they go long term though. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.